I'm proud of this town. I'm proud of what we are doing here. The city of Tenaino here in Washington is a, a city of roughly 1,800 people. Before I-5 was built, Old 99 was the mother road. It was the Route 66 of north-south on the west coast, and it went right through Tenaino. And so we were kind of the center of a lot of things. We were like radiator springs in the movie Cars, where when I-5 was built, the, you know, the traffic just kind of stopped. Here in Tenaino, like in many small towns across America, we are trying to reinvent ourselves. And right now, we are in a battle. We find ourselves in this time of COVID-19, and it is like COVID-19 was designed for Amazon to just explode. It was already exploding. And I am terrified that in COVID, people's habits are being formed, and it just does become a new normal where you just get used to buying all your shit online and, and, and having it delivered to your door. And where does our community go? In the late 1800s, Tenaino was founded basically as a sandstone city. You know, people laboring day and night, uh, hauling these blocks the size of Volkswagens out of a 100-foot deep pit. And those blocks were carved out and they were, they were shipped all over the US. And you'll find them in you know, train stations in Missoula, Montana, uh, libraries and churches in San Francisco, stately buildings up and down the West Coast. Uh, in 1931, during the Great Depression, there was a run on the banks for physical currency. And Tenaino, like everywhere else, just, just ran out of money, actual physical money. So the city leadership at the time, they got together and they decided to fill that void by printing their own. When the COVID emergency was kind of on the rise, we as a city recognized that there would be some economic fallout. So we decided to dust off the old idea of printing our own currency and begin doing it again. We've set aside $10,000, which isn't a lot for really any city. And we've printed off, you know, 400 pieces of these $25 bills. So this is what the wood money looks like. Uh, they're all $25 increments. A community member will come in and they'll apply and they'll show the city that they've been affected by the pandemic. Based on their income level, we will issue them up to $300 a month. That money is, is the Tenaino wooden dollar that can only be redeemed in the city. The really cool thing, I think, is that it's a, it's a two for one. We're both able to directly help Tenaino residents, but then they can only spend that money within the city limits. A lot of the businesses are celebrating it. People can spend this money pretty much on anything in the store. Uh, there are a few exclusions, alcohol, tobacco, that kind of stuff. All right, so 134 37 when somebody comes in here and they use this money to purchase items, my coffee and food, and then I can actually take this money and go across the street to the iron boutiques where I like to get my clothes. I often think of it like my job is to be the flippers on the bottom of a pinball machine. And that, that little money ball, we got to stop it from leaving our community and then bounce it back up. And every time it hits, that same money is touching many people and circulating around town. And so creating your own currency that cannot leave, that it has to stay, you can only spend that money locally, is a really, really powerful tool. So the Latin saying down here, loosely translated, is we've got this handled. Which was kind of the, the whole idea behind this to keep the town moving. Do you know how to say that in Latin? No, I do not. <laughs> I work at a grocery store. <laughs> we want to be a community that, that creates things that celebrates itself and has some pride. It's about the people, it's about the place. We really want uniqueness in our life. We crave authenticity. And we crave to be part of a community. We crave to belong to something. 